Now here in the given question, we'll try to determine the first four terms of the sequences given, right? Now, as you see, the sequences Tn is equal to 2 times Tn minus 1 plus 1, where T1 is equal to 1. So if you observe, we are trying to find a value in terms of previous value. Tn minus 1 is the previous term number, right? So this kind of a formula where we relate one term in terms of previous terms is called recursive sequence. Okay, so these are examples of recursive sequence. If you see the second one, it says Tn equals to Tn minus 1 plus Tn minus 2, where T1, T2 are given to us and both are 1. Now here, we, we can find the value of third term knowing the first two terms, right? So, so recursive formulas involve previous terms to get the value of a new term, right? So those are the recursive formulas. So here we have some examples. I will do the first two for you. The last two I'm leaving for you as an exercise. So here it is Tn equals to 2 times Tn minus 1 divided by 1 plus Tn minus 1, right? So that means n minus first term, right? This is the nth term where T1 is given to us. So if T1 is given to us, we can start with T2. So 2 minus 1 will be 1. So we can use this value here and there to get our value, right? And then repeat those values. Now, Tn equals to 2 times Tn minus 1 plus Tn minus 2, where T1, T2 are given as 1 and minus 2 respectively. So do these two on your own. I'll show you how to do the first two. Okay, so T1 is given to us. First four means we want to find T1, T2, T3 and T4. One is given to us and we'll just start with T2. So this is the formula Tn. So if I write instead of n, I'm writing 2 now to find my second term. So T2 is 2 times T. When I write 2 minus 1, I get 1, right? Plus 1. Now, what is 2 times T1? T1 is 1 for me, right? So I can use this value, the given value of T1, 1. So 2 times 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2, right? So let me write here 2 times 1 plus 1 and I get this value as 3, right? 2 times 1. So I know T2 is 3 for me. Now to find T3, we will T3. So we'll again use the same formula. So T3 will be 2 times T3 minus 1. So what is 3 minus 1? T2. So this is 2 times T3 minus 1, which is T2 plus 1, correct? Now, T2 we just found as 3. So we'll use this value here. And we'll say, well, it is 2 times 3 plus 1. And we get our value as 6 plus 1 as 7, correct? So that is a way we have to find. And then T4. So for T4, we say T4 is 2 times, we'll put 4 here, 4 minus 1 is 3. So we say T3 plus 1, which is, what is T3 for us? T3 is 7 for us, right? So we'll plug in 7 here. 7 times 2 is 14, and 14 plus 1 is 15. So we get T4 as 15. Therefore, our first four terms are, First term is given to us as 1, so we write 1 here. Second term is 3. Third term is 7. And the fourth term is 15. So that is the answer for this question. Now, here in this question, we have to use, to find this value, we have to use previous two values. n minus 1 means previous value, and n minus 2 is previous to that. So previous two values, right? And we are given T1 and T2, so we can find T3, correct? So if I write T3 here, let me start from right here. If I write 3 instead of n, I get T3 equals to T of 3 minus 1. Let me first write 3 minus 1 plus T of 3 minus 2, right? So basically T3 is equals to, what is 3 minus 1? T 
3 minus 1 is T2, right? Plus T3 minus 2 is T1, correct? And now what is T2 for me? T2 is 1 and T1 is also 1. So I write this is equals to 1 plus 1, which is equals to 2. So I get T3 as 2. Do you get it? Now, similarly, I'll do T4 for you. So T4 equals to T of 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So I'll write straight T3 here for you. Plus 4 minus 2 is 2. So we get 4 minus 2 is 2. Now what is T3? T3 we just calculated as 2. So we'll put 2 here and T2 is 1. And when we add them, we get 3. Correct? So these are our third and fourth terms. Therefore, our first four terms are 1, 1, 2, and 3, right? So that is how the sequence is, right? That means if you add the previous two terms, you get the next term. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. Similarly, you can move on, okay? Uh, try these two questions on your own. So you have to sub in n as 1 is given to you, so n is 2, and then get 2, then submit, find t3, and then find t4, correct? Here, t1 and t2 is given to you, so you start from t3, find t3, and then t4, okay? I hope you should get it. If there is any problem, write in your comments, and I'll be glad to answer those questions. Thank you.